The air conditioning and heating systems in our homes and offices may be taken for granted, but when they don't operate properly, you need the services of the refrigeration and air conditioning mechanic. Let's go meet him. Hi, I'm Viviana. Hi, I'm Russell. Nice to meet you. So this is your workplace? Yeah. You want to have a look around? I do. Show me. An air conditioning mechanic, what he mainly does is maintain and install uh, air conditioning and refrigeration systems. It could be heating systems as well. Repairing is probably a primary function and uh, a lot of installation. The job duties, well, we have a job board, so we would look at the job board or the book and we'd see what kind of uh, service calls or installations are on the book for that day and then uh, gather the material for the jobs and uh, go out and hopefully fix them all. There is some travel depending on where you live. In our location, we do have some remote island installations and stuff, so we travel and we work out of town for like a week at a time. I got involved uh, when I was, you know, around 21 years old, so, and it's just evolved for myself. If you wanna get involved in air conditioning and refrigeration, you'd need to be an apprentice. And then as an apprentice, every year for four years, you would go to school for six weeks per year. And at the end of your four years, you'd be able to get a red seal in refrigeration and air conditioning. You don't have to get that ticket. You could get a bit of a different style of ticket, which allows you to still do refrigeration in residential applications. You just wouldn't work on really large commercial projects. I think it's very important to be quite methodical with this type of job because there is a lot of detail work. A lot of times we'll be using power tools like a, a drill to drill holes in walls, uh, in stud spaces. We may even be using saws to cut, cut things out of the way. So we're just gonna cut this piece of PVC and we're gonna use it to fit into the rest of the drain system. Perfect. Okay, yep, just slide it into the coupling and then attach the pipe to the elbow. Perfect. That's excellent. You're hired. Thanks. Typically, uh, Monday to Friday, of course, is the norm, 8 to 4.30. You may have to do night calls and call-outs if you're working on food stores. You have to be actually a very good general learner. It's definitely something a person with the right aptitude, they can easily uh, do very well at and be quite successful at. There's a lot of interaction with clients and customers, so you really do have to be someone that likes to talk to people because there is a lot of one-on-one -on -one with a customer um, explaining why something needs to be done, perhaps. One misconception um, in refrigeration and air conditioning is just that, that it's air conditioning. We are, do a lot to do with heat pumps, which is a refrigeration system that heats and cools. There's a lot of good skills that you'll learn in a job like this, even in a short time, one or two years. And if you find it's not for you, it's gonna be skills that you can use for the rest of your life. Your prospects coming into this trade for the future, you know, you can be running your own business one day, have your own company with your own employees. You know, you could work into a position where you're running somebody else's company too. The most rewarding aspect of my job, I think is when I see it all come together when I get the sheet metal crew working with the, the refrigeration crew and the gas fitter and everybody comes together and then the customer, you know, gets to come home to this nice, you know, new system that's uh, keeping their home perfectly comfortable. Russell, I had a great time today. I learned a lot. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming. Once again, this is Career Trek and I'm Viviana reminding you that this career could be yours. We'll see you next time.